For a government agency to be effective, it must be in tune with the needs and wants of the sector it is mandated to help. Thus, the chief of the Department of Transportation has expressed solidarity to the transport sector who would benefit from the suspension of oil price hikes. Karen Villanda has the full story. Amidst the continuous oil price hikes, the Transportation Secretary Jaime Bautista supports the suspension of oil price hikes requested by various public transport groups. Well, uh, siyempre gusto natin na uh, hindi mahirapan yung ating mga transport uh, operators, drivers. No? Ako, I will support, I will support yung kanilang, uh, kanilang uh, paghingi ng uh, suspension. But Secretary Bautista clarified the decision is not for the DOTR to make, but by the Department of Finance and Congress since it is written in the law. Based on the four-day trading of Department of Energy this week, there has been no movement yet to indicate an increase or reduction on the price of gasoline. But many industry observes hint of a possible rollback of 50 centavos to 75 centavos per liter of diesel and kerosene next week. But it may be changed depending on the result of trading today, especially if there is still a lack of supply on petroleum products. But Transport Group Piston warned of a possible transport strike if diesel prices reach 80 to 85 pesos per liter. Kung uh, talagang tuloy-tuloy uh, uh, na tataas talaga yung uh, presyo ng petrolyo, ay uh, hindi may iwasa na humantong tayo sa uh, protestang bayan na may kakibat na transport strike. Kasi sa ngayon, ay uh, halos sa 18 pesos na yung binagdag sa presyo ng diesel at uh, halos sa 450 na ang nawawalang kita kada araw ng ating mga driver at mga operator. Kapag tingin lang po natin sa loob po ng isang buwan, kung tayo nagkukonsume halimbawa ng 30 liters, ay uh, malutong na halos sa umaabot ng 10 libo yung nawawalang kita. Hence, they're plea to the government to suspend the excise tax for oil. Karen Villanda for The Nation.